The U.S. dollar is failing, and as that happens, it's going to affect you directly. This is all part of, and another component of, this economic breakdown that we've been leading you through, talking you through, expecting before it got here, and telling you what to do about it the whole way. I have published comments about the U.S. debt levels multiple decades ago. I've been talking about this stuff forever. This is just another component of it. As the dollar falls, it's going to have so many implications on you, so many things you should be doing, and I'm going to talk about all of that in this video. Plus, I'm going to tell you what happened the other day when I went into a strip mall in one of those We Buy Gold places. The 5th of November is going to be extra compelling this year. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. But before we get to the 5th of November, we still got to make it through October, which is one of the scariest months of the year it has some of the biggest stock market crashes so look lively lads how many currencies are there in the entire world right now that are active and live think about your answer there's 180 currencies that are going on in the world right now there's been thousands over the years and every single fiat currency fiat means by decree the king can just say this piece of bark is worth one unit, and then everybody goes and strips bark off the trees and spins it for bread. Fiat means by decree. It's not based on anything. The value of the dollar is just based on the fact that the king said so, and everybody just agrees on it. That's why I always tell you the U.S. dollar is just an idea that we all agree upon. Every single fiat currency has either eventually gone to zero in terms of purchasing power, or it just hasn't yet. But what we're seeing right now I wonder, what if this is a big sea change in the way that people look at money? There's not a lot of confidence anymore in a lot of different currencies, especially the one that had the most confidence, the U.S. dollar. The entire world is now saying, wait a minute, they're just totally misusing the dollar. They're just spitting out more and more of it. We have, in fact, worldwide been aware of this since back in the days of Charles de Gaulle. Le fait que beaucoup d'États accepte par principe des dollars au même titre que de l'or pour les règlements des différences qui existent à leur profit dans la balance des paiements américaines. But we're going to be closer and closer to digital currency, we're closer and closer to the new BRICS currency, closer and closer to the deterioration of the US dollar for the first time. And it's a sea change. Everything is changing. Who knows how this is all going to play out, but you have to be totally cognizant of everything that's going on. Keep an eye on this stuff, which is why you subscribe to the channel. But you have to keep an eye on this ahead of time, understand what it means, and position yourself accordingly. There's a time when pipes and fur coats were all the rage. Then there's a sea change, and that's the same thing that's happening with a lot of currencies. There's more and more talk among experts and authorities and economists that... Globally, we need to have a currency that everyone agrees upon, and it's just everything. The forces are all pushing people back to limited things, such as gold. Gold is going to be the only currency that's trusted worldwide. But speaking of all these fiat currencies that existed, and people would fight and kill each other and steal the currency so they could buy new fancy things, a lot of these fiat currencies are now in the graveyard, and I will tell you about that in this article. See Graveyard, a history of monetary folly, and brought to you by Gini Foundation. U.S. money supply, money printing is wealth theft. Here's where the gold standard was killed. Here's where the Federal Reserve was created. You can see here, after the big stock market crash 1929, the U.S. dollar actually strengthened. A lot of flight to safety there because everybody was in the middle of the Depression, which gave rise to World War II. The average lifespan of a fiat currency is about 35 years. And then he just goes on to show a bunch of currencies which were absolutely valuable until they were mishandled and misused exactly as banana republics do, which is exactly 
what America is doing. America is basically a banana republic with a lot of military. And anybody can get the Peter Leeds app. It's at m.peterleeds.com. M stands for mobile or Megadeth or Metallica or Motorhead or Metal Church. But anybody can get it. You get it free if you're subscribed to the newsletter. There is a cost otherwise, but it's basically all of our content from the newsletter sliced up and stuffed into your pocket on demand anytime you want to look at it. When we talk about the US dollar failing or the death of the dollar, it's going to be displayed through this chart. This is the DXY, the dollar index. And as the US dollar fails, it's going to be displayed or illustrated through this chart. But until recent times, the US dollar has done very well. It's been a lot of flight to safety, a lot of gaslighting into believing that the economic strength actually exists. They'll tell you that the stock market is so strong, that the unemployment rate is so low, that that means it's a strong economy. But I look at things a little bit differently. As I've told you before, I look at things like the United States federal government budget. September consumer confidence falls the most in three years. Well, it's about time. And this one I really want to get to. Gold's tremendous rally is making even long-term bulls a bit nervous. It's very important that we circle back after I get through this article because I want to tell you about how gold is actually a manifestation or reflection of the value of currency. But first, let's get into this article. I really want to show you this. This is from CNBC. Gold's tremendous rally is making even long-term bulls a bit nervous. And I really wanted to go through this with you. Here are our gold prices. And I have to talk to you guys about the profits at the end of this video, okay? Something I need you to understand. Save you some money here. But here, the rally appears to be a combination of buying from global central banks and the Federal Reserve rate cut. And that is not correct. It's always been central bank buying. I've been telling you this from a long time ago. They've been buying for so many years now, and this is what's pushing gold prices up. That's what got the move moving. The imbalance of the demand compared to the supply. Bank of America says we're going to hit $3,000 an ounce in the next 12 to 18 months. However, they warn the same note that gold might be tactically overbought. They sound like man here. Despite the positive long-term outlook, we highlight some risks today. Prices are 15% above the 200-day moving average. But like I said, you're going to be seeing all this kind of stuff. People will start talking about $3,000 gold. And then when it hits that, they'll say $5,000. What's the point of these articles? I don't understand. He upgraded his forecast for gold, but warned there might be a short-term pullback. Pick a lane. Okay, good. You're back. Now I want to tell you how gold is a manifestation or reflection of the currency. Think of it this way, okay? Here's one ounce of gold. And there was a time when you could purchase this. With $35, U.S. dollars, would buy one ounce of gold. And then it came to the point where we started talking about gold and buying gold. That's about $1,600 an ounce. And it's climbed from there and it's now got up to $2,600. It's going to go a lot higher, of course. You know, I believe that. I've believed that for a decade. So gold itself never changed in value. Gold equals gold equals gold. And what happened was the number of dollars required to buy that same thing just increased because of the value of each of the, the dollars was less because there's so many of them. I encourage you to do that when somebody says, wow, gold prices really shot up or silver prices really shot up. What you should think in your mind is gold is gold is gold. Gold is gold is gold. The value of gold has not changed at all. It's just the surrounding dollars required to buy them, whatever currency it is. It just takes more of it. And every country on the entire earth has recently hit a new high in price in gold and their currency. This is from Redfin News. Another aspect of the economic breakdown that we're going to be seeing is going to affect real estate. This is from Bay Area Home Buyers Stand to save thousands on monthly payments following mortgage rate to decline. But I want to call out half of all home listings have gone extra stale unsold after 60 days on the market. These are the things they actually need to look at because they give you an early warning indicator as opposed to just listening to Janet Yellen or Jerome Powell or a politician. Typical swing state renter earns 17% less than needed to afford a typical apartment. That's just another sign of 
this economy and the direction it's heading in. You can also watch the number of people who are homeless. You can also watch the velocity of money. Now, this is from Bureau of Economic Analysis, the U.S. International Investment Position for the second quarter of 2024. And you know how I always tell you about leads analysis. What is the first thing? I always say that when I'm looking into a company, somebody says this company might be good or I find it and I look into it. The first place I go, the balance sheet, the most recent quarterly balance sheet. That's what you want to look at. It's a snapshot of the position of the company at that moment when they did the report. And you look at the assets compared to the liabilities, what they own compared to what they owe. First of all, you get a glimpse of whether or not they're even viable. But when you look at it in terms of American citizens, you can look at what they own and what they owe. And it comes out to a difference between the assets, financial assets, and financial liabilities for U.S. residents is negative $22.52 trillion, which is not unlike your neighbor. They have too much debt and not enough assets, or your boss, or your cousin, or your best friend from high school. Everybody's got some financial problems right now. And it is also evidenced by things like the lines of the food banks. Now, this is from the Press Gazette, and just like I told you that when the economy is slowing down, oil prices will come down and they came down pretty hard yesterday. A couple dollars a barrel. There's too much oil and I'm telling you, I've got to get to this video to the oil glut. I'm getting to it. I'm working on it. I'm working hard here. It'll be out soon enough. That's why you want to subscribe to the channel. Or you can look at copper prices and even silver prices to a certain degree. But this is another way you can look at the U.S. economy and see how it's slowing down. This is a top 50 news websites in the United States, and most of them have seen a traffic drop after a really strong July. And you can look at the top 10 sites month over month for August 2024, and a lot of these news sites are less visited and less in demand, and that's related to what I have to talk to you about later. If you're a Peter Lead subscriber, you've been doing pretty well if you've been listening to me. But hey, I want to tell you something. There's a community tab on my Peter Leeds YouTube channel, that I wrote something in, and I don't normally do this, but I wrote it, and I think you guys need to hear it too. It was written in response to someone's question, but listen to this. I literally today went to a We Buy Gold place in a plaza just to get a bunch of quotes, and he says he'll buy for $2,600, he'll sell for $2,680, which is much better than expected. But keep in mind, a lot of these places are a little bit more dishonest, but that's actually pretty good because the question was, what do I do with this gold? How do I sell it? How do I get my money out? It goes up in price. And I'm still just sitting there holding it. But how do I get the value out? And I said, one of the things you could go to a gold dealer. But even more likely, when it's time to cash out, everybody and their grandma will be loving gold because it will be trading for five digits, over $10,000. They will accept gold for a car or house or business or a rental income property or artwork or whatever. The U.S. inflation rate is falling. You can see here it's coming down pretty strongly. I believe it will bounce. Inflation is destined to go a lot higher, especially as they've already lowered rates. More rate reductions are coming up, and they've admitted that, and they would have to do that whether they admit it or not. All this monetary creation that we're about to experience will be pushing on inflation as the dollar dies in value. That is inflation. And we have a massive wave, it'll be massive, of all these U.S. dollars in foreign countries overseas everywhere being released and coming back home to roost. When they get to our shores, there's going to be so much money chasing the same amount of goods that everything is going to cost you more. Input costs are more Manufacturer price inflation will go higher, which will mean that the prices on the products will be higher to make up for that, and you're going to be paying that. This is from Bankrate. Is the housing market going to crash? What experts are saying. Mortgage rates are finally ticking downward, but at the same time, home prices are reaching historic highs. That's true. Economists predict that any market correction may be modest and not on the scale of the Great Recession. Is that all economists? Or half? Or what? Experts do not expect a housing market crash due to low inventory, strict lending standards, and other factors. I know economists that 
don't say that. I know economists have said the exact opposite of this, but they didn't mention that in this article. That's what you have to keep in mind, that every article you read is focused on whatever the source of the article wanted you to focus on. Speaking of which, let's take a look at total housing inventory. Oh my goodness, it's increasing. Residential property prices. This is a five-year chart. And I'll do one better for you. How about this? Case Schiller Home Price Index month over month and year over year. They're both trending down. There's a question about when to sell the miners. And that's what happens when stocks go up so much, you're starting to start looking around, when do I take my profit? When do I cash out of this stuff and cash in on the gains I made? Here's what I need to tell you about that. Recession or depression will hurt silver prices very badly, but historical precedents were based on a time when there was enough silver being produced. Even in a heat wave, the price of sweaters will climb if there's more buying than production. And what I wanted to say about the profits a lot of you guys are making, because I know you are because you're telling me about it, and that makes me feel so good. And I know I make mistakes. I've been wrong on Bitcoin many times. I've been wrong on a lot of stocks over the years, but this is the game. This is what we're playing here. And you can't predict a landslide that takes out your entire investment, but still, I'm still burnt about Victoria Gold. Anyways, my point being, you have probably made some pretty good cash, and I know a lot of you have. It's so important that right now you be super careful. I'll explain it in my response here. That's when people make the biggest mistakes or let their guard down. You are going to make a fortune from these miners, but always be cautious and careful. To keep making money, you literally just have to wait and do nothing. That is hard because, especially when people are sitting on gains, they always try to start trading in and out of stocks and get more of the gains and get more. It doesn't need to be difficult. Simply wait. Be patient. What could be easier? Do nothing. And I gotta give a shout out to Franco because he said, being an insider certainly does have its benefits. Thank you, Franco, and it does. Speaking of which, everybody, every single one of you should become a Peter Leeds insider. It's 10 cents a day if you wanna pay the minimum. And it helps keep us sponsorship free. You get direct contact with me. Look at what Franco's saying, it's worth it. 10 cents a day, and you got me that you can ask anything, anytime, whatever you want. And Matthew was asking, what's better, the physical metal or the metals miners? And I said exactly this. It's like this, pure precious metals, there's no risk besides the fact that prices will increase and decrease because they are a commodity. The metals miners on the hand are companies, so they have company risk, which includes landslides like we saw with Victoria Gold, accidents, bad management decisions, workforce strikes, embezzlement, etc. The miners will always increase by more than the commodity. If gold goes up 25%, the Peter Lee's approved companies we talk about will rise by hundreds of percent. But the point is, with the company, there's more risk, but more potential reward. And check out this one. By the way, your gold mining stock recommendations over the past few years have made me a great deal of money, and I thank you. So does my wife. And I told him you deserve the credit too, because there's a lot of people out here chirping on YouTube that you could follow anybody, but you were discerning and you decide who to trust, who to follow. And the one thing you got to do if you do a little bit extra work, just look behind the scenes. The Wizard of Oz moving all the levers. Most of these guys out here have absolutely no credentials. Maybe a self-published book at best. But it stands to reason that a person who's been doing this for decades longer than these guys and has actual credentials, such as published books, live major media appearances, that maybe there's something there. Maybe this is a guy you want to listen to. I try my best. I do okay. Listen to what I said, though. But I believe the stock will be a long-term 10-bagger. Patience will be needed, but the profits will be extreme, in my opinion. <laughs> So coming up, we're going to talk about the oil glut and what it means. Plus one, telling you all about these mini nuclear reactors, which stocks to get invested in or look into that are doing this, building all these miniature or smaller nuclear reactors I told you about. That's why you want to subscribe. Ce fait entraîne les Américains à s'endetter et à s'endetter gratuitement vis-à-vis -vis de l'étranger.
And thank you about your great encouragement and comments about the new format of the Peter Leeds newsletter. It's a lot easier for me this way and I can get you more good opportunities, more stocks to buy, more information just by handling it the way I'm doing now. So you guys seem to like it. I love it. And it's going to be the way we're going to do things. And you definitely want to become a Peter Leeds insider. Just go to peterleeds.com slash insiders and you and I will be connected for the rest of our lives.